and there is a studying course here in Vienna. It's called. It's also a Fachhochschule, mm -hmm. and it's called Urban Energy Management. You know, okay. and there should be solar techniques as well in it. Yeah. Okay. Called for especially for urban energy. Systems. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. But it's very easy to find it on the internet. Super. If you want to spread this information to the university. Yes. Yes, I will do that. Too. And I think that course mm -hmm. is very interesting because it's especially in cities where it is very important because there are so many people. Yes. That are producing, I don't know, that are living in a very unsustainable way. Yes. So it's especially important in the cities. Yes, it is. It is. But and mm -hmm. how can this house is used for energy? Well, there are different uh, models. This company started in a way, it's like a paradox. In 1979, when we are attacked in the name of political parties by the Arabs, after the major attack that came 1,400 years ago, mm -hmm. and ordered people to put Arabic name on their children and on themselves. Learn Arabic language. Well, they said there is a book that we received, and it says in it to be kind. Every part of it, every chapter of it starts with, in the name of the merciful and kind creator. So, there should be some sign of kindness through the stories as teaching to people too. But then, when we studied it through 14 centuries, and we also studied the books of the people ahead of us, our ancestors, studying it and writing their books, and then those books being handwritten and learned chest to chest to this mm -hmm. time of like 100 years ago with the print machine coming to the hands of more people. We see that uh, this is a book that uh, had its time and served the purpose of uniting the Arab tribes who were killing and eating each other over a drop of blood, uh, water, not even blood. Huh? Therefore, for now, making it as uh, over young people, which are the majority of population in Iran, or even in Afghanistan. I mean, naming only Islamic Republic for the system of governing the land is uh, by itself uh, false. Because Islamic has some sets of rules for the Arabs of those days of 14 centuries ago. Hey, don't put your baby girl alive into the grave because you think you don't have money. How do you know about the share of that one? Maybe that one just came to be adopted by another family to grow it up. Huh? This was the mentality of Iranian people in those days. And that is how they could manage the water under the ground. But in the deserts of Arabia, the life was different. It was really savage and wild to the extreme that nobody was uh, migrating there, for example. Huh? From there, people were migrating to Iran because the climatic was also allowing with the mountains and the sea and the lake and the rivers that people uh, have... Uh, uh, dwellings around the springs without knowing those cracks under the ground that brings the earth to have the shake, what we call earthquake, mm -hmm. is exactly in those parts of the land and not all over the land. Mm -hmm. But because they could see, most people could only see the water for the life liquid they need, so they were making their houses around there too. Mm. The ones who could think deeper and they were cooking the clay like the bricks mm. and then forming it like a shell architecture, like egg shell mm -hmm. or the different shell that has the curve and not flat walls and flat roof. Then they were staying through the time. But the ones who were being made either with the uncooked clay formed like shell or with the cooked clay formed like flat at the time of earthquake were crumbling over the head of it. So buildings that are around there will be, you say, uh, one factor. At the <laughs> yes, one factor is like the eggshell. See, people tried the eggshell under the foot of elephants. 